Hey guys, Kenny Castor here today, bringing you another Versus video. Uh, today we brought to the table Jund, uh, a fan favorite, but we are switching up a few things uh, with the new edition of M14. You know, it gives, gives the deck a little bit more of exactly what it needed. Um, just moving right along to the deck, we've got our base creatures, Thrag Tusk, Huntmaster, Olivia. Um, some people were switching up with Vampire Nighthawk, Siren Sanity, but with the addition of M14, we're able to add Scavenging News to our deck which I put in a four of because whenever I was playing this deck originally uh, before M14, I felt like, you know, you know, you had really good matchups against most of the decks, but then you're playing against Reanimator, and yeah, you had like Ground Seal's main deck, but those really weren't working. Uh, it seemed like it would just, the games would go on forever. Everyone would play a Thrag Tusk or a five, and then they would play Acidic Slime on your Ground Seal, and then they'd bring back Angel Serenity with the Barrow Rights, and you'd die. Or you would just draw a Bonfire, and then they would die. So one or the other, I think that Scavenging News is really going to help that matchup a lot. Um, we also have Doomblade in the deck. Some people were playing Pillar of Flame before. You know, it's just another two mana removal spell, uh, whether like Abrupt Decay as well. Um, basically just something to blow up a creature for cheap, cheap and efficient. All right, so moving right along to the sideboard, uh, just wanted to... I want to put like a mix of spells in here, you know, that are good against the aggro matches as well as the control matches and then the mid-range mirror matches. Um, I have Slaughter Games for the Sphinx's Revelation decks as well as like Duress, um, where as like Liliana and Acidic Slime double up against them and I think they're good. Um, Acidic Slime is also good against like your mid-range decks, the Jun Mirror, um, any deck with like Artifact and Enchantment. It's also good against Bant Hexproof. Well, if you don't die before then, you can blow up one of their enchantments and even block like a Geist of St. Traft if you're blowing up like so their Spectral Flight. Um, Liliana is also doubles as, like I said, it's good against the mid-range and control decks as well as like the Bant Hexproof deck. Um, a lot of people aren't really playing at main deck right now just because the Voice of Resurgence is a card and you don't want to really play that into their voice. Um, although, we do have Pillar of Flame for that little guy. Uh, that's, we've got a couple of these on the sideboard, as well as a couple of Vampire Nighthawks to so just stop voicing his tracks. Um, we also have the one of Curse of Death's Hold, which Reed Duke has proved to us that it deserves a sideboard slot. And I also wanted another kind of like board wiping spell, so I threw in a, uh, a Mizium Mortars kind of just to act as like the fifth bonfire in the deck. Uh, it's also good against, you know, like on Smiter decks where like, I guess Doomblade's good against them now too. Um, so that's why Doomblade's in the main deck when this isn't. So let's see if this oldie but a goodie can go ahead and take down David McDarby's Battle of the Wits deck today.